Welcome back to 10 Minutes of Astrology. My name is Shannon and I have been a practicing astrologer for over 15 years. I also do tarot, psychomancy, graphology, and other cool stuff. So stay tuned and we are going to dive into the chart, point out a couple of things, come back out and discuss it. So this new moon is happening on August 16th, 2023 at 5 38 a.m that would be 9 38 universal time a couple of things that we are going to discuss is the new moon obviously here in leo and that will be square to uranus over here in taurus so that's a big old square and it is going to be semi-sextile to Mars, which is a learning teaching. Uh, Mars is here in Virgo. Obviously, Mars and Uranus are trying during this. Something else that I want to discuss is going to be Mercury here, also in Virgo at a slightly different degree. And this is going to be in conjunct to Chiron here in Aries. So these are all of the things that we are going to discuss. I'm going to pull back out and we'll talk about it. The new moon in Leo. So that is at 23 degrees and 23 is a very good number in this placement. The sun is in its home place. The moon is not. However, you're going to get those summertime vibes, those feel good kind of things, especially if you are another fire sign or air. Anybody that is earth and water, those vibes, those kind of happy fun vibes are uh, going, might be a little much for you. So the sun and the moon are square to Uranus at 23 degrees. This is a, it's difficult, right? Squares are always very hard to handle. And Uranus is like eclectic and it's uh, electric and it's in Taurus, that's in the home, that's with your family, that's your basic needs. And, you know, your basic needs may be changing. And it's a strain with the sun and the moon in Leo because that's your daily life and that's your emotional outlook. So this strained emotional outlook and your day-to-day -day things that are changing within the home and rocking your stability. And it's it, you might have an overwhelming sense of things just kind of going out of control, but it can be for the better if you allow it to be. Now, the sun and moon are also uh, semi-sextile to Mars in Virgo. Mars is an action planet. Anybody with Mars in Virgo are very particular, very detail-oriented. They are some of the best craftsmen, you know, some of the best people that if you want a job done and a job done to perfection, get somebody with a Mars in Virgo. Mars is currently in Virgo, and this is semi-sextile, the sun and the moon. Well, Virgo comes after Leo, so Mars has to teach the sun and the moon, or daily life and how you internalize your feelings, kind of how to work. Uh, Leo is not really known how to work, so with Mars being here, it's we have to focus. We have to, so the sun and moon, your daily life and your emotions need to learn how to kind of overcome the grind and really nose to the grindstone and get it done and do your best, right? So Mars and Uranus are trying. It's a very beautiful thing to see because we are creatively working together in the home, focusing. It's, it's a beautiful arrangement of the work ethic and, and the specificity of how particular and time-sensitive things are and doing it well in a Uranus-type creative way in the home uh, and, and in a comfortable setting. 
So that's really awesome. The last thing that I was going to touch on is the in conjunct between Mercury and Chiron. So Mercury is also in Virgo at a different degree. Chiron is in Aries. Mercury in Virgo, it, it, that's a place that it likes to be in. That's intelligent communication. It's being able to uh, grow in, and take constructive criticism. The inconjunct, and inconjunct is very irritating though. It is inconvenient. And Chiron and Aries, everybody's been experiencing Chiron and Aries where it's all about self-help. How do I help me? Chiron being trying to help others um, in ways that you cannot help yourself. And Aries is that fire I come first sign. So everybody's trying to self-help right now. And helping others, it sounds counterintuitive with this placement, but helping others is actually going to better yourself. With this in conjunct, you're going to struggle to communicate these things that you're working on and these things that you're trying to do. So if you're at the office or you're at a job and you're working on stuff and you're like, well, just let me work, you're going to communicate that in a way that's not going to be taken very well. So be very careful of your words during this time when you communicate how you're working and the progress and the things that you're um coming up with to be able to fix and and what you're able to accomplish it's going to be harder to communicate yes I am doing this if you just let me do it and, and it's not going to come across as tactfully as it's just not going to come across tactfully unfortunately um, and with Mercury being those communications in Virgo you want to be able to take constructive criticism and be able to criticize other people, but it's the way in which you go about it with Chiron and Aries is it's going to come across like you're being, a, you insert bad word, right? So hopefully this has helped. I know that this is a very short 10 minutes of astrology today. And a quick update, I have been very busy. I did one of the longest readings that I've ever done last night. And it was a compilation of astrology and tarot with somebody that I did, like the deepest dive um, for someone, person to person, that I could have done. It was, uh, it was a lot. It took several hours. And... So I've been busy doing readings, I've been busy at my job, I've been busy making and editing videos and writing my book, which hopefully I plan to come out with it next year. But if you would like to make an appointment, I'm booking about six weeks out right now. You can absolutely go online to my website and order some bookmarks from me. That's the other thing that I've been doing is making all these bookmarks and just trying to keep the hustle moving. You're always welcome to just reach out and chat. I'm cool with that too. I'm probably gonna ask if you wanna make an appointment, but I'm still offering free readings for 10 minutes. And yeah, so again, thank you so much for watching, following, subscribing, liking, everything. It's It's been uh, beautiful to see how much all of this has really taken off. So. I really appreciate y'all's time and good luck during this new moon. New moons are about newness and even though it's not the most ideal time to start new projects, if you did, it's not the worst time to do it. So you may be coming into a new job or just something new with Leo, with the family, with um, your creativity that I really encourage you to go further with. So peace out fam.